Hello, welcome to my APG Studio channel and today yoga easy for wrist. So I'm not going to do anything to put any pressure on these joints. If you've got some pain and you still like yoga, this is the session for you. Also in here you can find another video with some exercise stretches to make these joints much stronger and relieve, release the pain. Okay, so we're ready to start. Welcome to my channel, make sure you subscribe and you turn on notification to be informed about every single content on my channel. My name is Alicia, fitness and yoga expert and you're ready to start our session yoga stretching for easy for your wrists. If you've got tight muscles, hips or legs, you can use yoga blocks or something to sit on it so you can keep your hips higher a little bit of the floor so it's gonna be easier to keep the right position right alignment so avoid sitting like this front back bending in your belly area get your pelvis stuck under try to actually sit completely opposite if your pelvis tilt forward chest high shoulders back and down okay and you're keeping your left leg front of you so first lift your arms really high when you exhale, slowly relax your shoulders. Inhale and slowly exhale. Reaching high to lengthen your spine. Exhale, try to release any tension in your upper body. Inhale and exhale. Maybe one more. Inhale and slowly exhale. Now I've got left hand on your knee and you're twisting to your right side. Inhale slowly exhale inhale exhale great stretching to mobilize your spine to release any tension pain in your lower back also nicely work with the flexibility in your upper body now it's your right arm chest and your shoulder maybe two more inhale and slowly exhale and last one and slowly just relax okay now you see your right leg front of you so now left arm inhale twisting to your left slowly exhale center inhale and exhale inhale slowly exhale maybe two more times inhale and slowly exhale and one more okay so let's stretch your legs right now so you need your left leg front of you so you're on your right knee and now inhale hold your position as you exhale move your hips forward and down to feel stretch left side hip and glutes and right front of your leg squeeze your glutes on your right side inhale and slowly exhale inhale and slowly exhale inhale and exhale and one more inhale slowly exhale okay now your left knee right leg forward when you've got the max comfortable stretch your knees needs to be directly above your ankle inhale exhale work hard for your buttocks muscles to support your lower back and build the strength in your glutes inhale and slowly exhale inhale and exhale maybe one more and relax okay so now to child pose can be for hips higher or if you're comfortable you can directly sit on your feet start your both arms front of you and now right to your side when you inhale 
trying to reach up, twist your upper body and slowly exhale. You can touch the floor, rest your hand or keep off the ground. So you're going to challenge your core muscles, your obliques and your right side. Inhale. And slowly exhale. Inhale, slowly exhale. Okay, now left. Inhale, slowly exhale. Don't worry if you can't lift that high. What I'm doing is just practice to improve the flexibility in your spine, in your shoulder, chest now on your left side. Maybe two more. Inhale and slowly exhale. One more time. And relax. I'm going to lay down facing to the floor. You've got your forearm arms front to the way. Inhale, just press your elbows. Push your shoulders down to lift your shoulders, but squeeze again glutes muscles. And you exhale slowly. Relax. Inhale. And slowly exhale. Great exercise to build the strength in your lower back to prevent any pain in this area. Maybe two more if you can. Remember, you can stop any time. You know your body the best. If you've got the feeling you need to stop, just do it. Your forearms press your knees to the floor to lift your hips. And slowly move your arms closer to your legs. Stay in child pose again, maybe if your hips higher or lower. You can rock side to side. And you're going to do some nice stretches laying down on your back. The safe way to go there is keeping feet on the floor, bring your hands close to your body, just underneath your shoulders and now slowly as you're bringing elbow on the floor, you're bringing your knees closer to you and now just roll your spine down the ground. So that's the easy way, easy transition, so there's no tension in your lower back. Arms to your side, keep them close to you and just rock your legs side to side, Not a great movement for good condition in your spine, in your lower back. If you've got more strength in your core, especially your obliques, you can keep your arms away. As long as you're keeping opposite shoulder on the floor, you can move your arms even further. But if you notice you're lifting shoulder as you twist your legs to the other side, bring your arms closer and avoid twisting your legs that much. Just make sure body is ready for this action. And maybe one more. Inhale and slowly exhale. Arms by your side. Now cross legs, inhale and as you exhale, try to lift. Feel the stretch, back of your legs, glutes muscles, lower back. Inhale, slowly exhale. If you'd like to improve your flexibility, back of your legs, the long hamstring, that's a good exercise to do because you've got your hips position as supposed to be. If you're really aware of your abdominal muscles, when you pull them in, as you're lifting your legs, it's your core exercise, so you're building strength in your belly area. Inhale and slowly exhale. You can swap your legs over, inhale and exhale. And last one. Perfect. Now legs down the floor, arms over your head to stretch all your muscles from your fingers to your toes. 
Your heels to your fingers. And now just shake your body. Turn your head side to side. And yeah, that's it. Few nice stretches for, for full body. Doing every day and makes all the difference for you. How you're feeling and also make your body more flexible and stronger. So thank you for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please give me a thumbs up and leave the comments. How was this session for you? And if you're interested about the wrist, gonna be a link right now in here how to make them stronger. So thank you for now and hopefully I see you soon. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Bye guys!